Hello, I am Dr. Lois Kilowich, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about the history of women in vascular surgery. The Society for Vascular Surgery was founded in 1945. All the charter members were men. During the first four decades of its existence, many of its members were cardiac surgeons, as there was considerable overlap between vascular and cardiac surgery. In 1983, when the first history of SVS was written, there were 240 active and 250 senior members. Of these, there was a single woman, Dr. Nina Brownwald. Dr. Brownwald was a highly distinguished cardiac surgeon who performed the first successful human heart valve replacement. Interestingly, she was also a wife and mother to three daughters, to whom she was quite devoted. In the 1960s and 70s, she was considered a poster child for the emerging feminist movement. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, women remained vastly underrepresented in vascular surgery. A New York Times article published in 1987 reported that only 1.4% of vascular surgeons were female, at a time when 15% of all practicing physicians and 26% of residents were women. The lack of women was attributed to the long, arduous residency and the inability to combine child rearing with the demands of a career in vascular surgery. Nevertheless, the 1980s did produce a few women vascular surgeons who have contributed extensively to vascular surgery and medicine in general, including Drs. Linda Graham, Julie Freischlag, Linda Riley, and Martha McDaniel. Dr. Graham is an outstanding researcher with numerous NIH grants. Dr. Freischlag is the Chair of Surgery at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, and Dr. McDaniel is the Chair of Anatomy at Dartmouth School of Medicine. Dr. Riley, Professor of Vascular Surgery at the University of California, San Francisco, was the first woman to complete the General Surgery Residency at Hopkins. Throughout the 1990s and the first 10 years of the second millennium, the number of women choosing vascular surgery careers has increased steadily. According to a report published by the American Association of Medical Colleges in 2006, women constituted roughly 7% of all vascular surgeons. Over the same period, women held 13% of all vascular residency positions. In 2007, there were 73 active female members of the Society for Vascular Surgery including 13 distinguished fellows. The society has recognized the need to increase the number of women choosing careers in vascular surgery and has developed a number of outreach programs to women residents and medical students. The society sponsors scholarships to attend its meetings and offers a program where practicing female vascular surgeons can mentor their younger colleagues. In the past few years, many women have been appointed to national committee positions and a Women's Leadership Committee has been formed. The committee has sponsored two career development retreats and a Women's Leadership Award. However, there is a clear need for increased visibility of women in vascular surgery, both at the national and regional levels. In addition, women vascular surgeons need to lead by example, demonstrating to our aspiring colleagues that it is possible to have successful, fulfilling professional and personal lives as vascular surgeons. Thank you. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.